Cecil, meantime, Prime Minister Gaston Brown says the citizenship by investment programs in Antigua and Barbuda, among other Caribbean countries, are under threat. He says countries with these economic citizenship programs must end them or face visa requirements to enter countries in Europe. And speaking on local radio over the weekend, Brown said Eastern Caribbean countries could suffer a major blow if this comes to pass. He said Antigua currently rakes in about $100 million annually from the program, but other islands depend even more on citizenship by investment programs. In the case of Antigua and Barbuda, about 10% of our revenue, um, you know, or maybe if I'm exaggerating, no more than probably 12-15% uh, comes from CIP. But in some countries within the sub-region, the CIP um, contributes up to 50% of the annual revenue. So you can imagine the impact in those countries. Uh, so, you know, it would be a very um, difficult proposition. Now, Brown says he believes there is a lack of understanding about the due diligence involved in granting economic citizenship in Antigua and Barbuda, among other Caribbean countries. And he has also written to those officials who are pushing to have the citizenship by investment program scrapped. The U.S., as you know, now they have two um, congressmen who have decided now to go further and to pass um, legislation. And one of the provisions is to work in lockstep with um, the European Union to get them to um, discontinue the uh, Schengen um, visa-free access into Europe. So I have taken the um, opportunity to write to um, policymakers, um, uh, parliamentarians in Europe, as well as those two congressmen who are now tabling um, this um, legislation, mm -hmm. to let them know the impact about uh, the impact that they're about to inflict on our CIP programs, and the impact on our economies. Uh, you know, I would have reassured them as well about the type of due diligence that we have in place.